Hey everyone, so here's some things you can do with your dolls or about dolls when you are bored. Let's get into it. Number one, you can reorganize your doll clothes, your doll accessories. If your room or doll area looks very messy, I think it is worth it to spend the time, if, especially if you're bored, to just clean it up. It will also make you feel way more productive and you'll be able to probably find your doll stuff a lot easier. And it will also look very nice. If you need any inspiration, you can always just look at other people's organization. I made my own video about my doll organization. If you want to check it out. Number two, clean your dolls. What I mean by this is just like maybe with a magic eraser, if they're that dirty or just like with a wipe, you can just wipe them down. If you haven't done it in a while or they're a used doll that you might have bought off from somebody, clean them would be a good idea. And once you see all that dirt come off from your doll, it will feel so good that you clean them. Number three, fix up a nasty doll so you can buy some pretty nasty dolls on ebay or mercari or just any second sale site maybe your cousin gave you one or something you could fix her up and make her look brand new so many people have done that and it's amazing and i know they take quite a bit of time especially if they're very very nasty dolls it's gonna take quite a while or you could even like with the fixing up you could even turn it into like a completely new doll like customize it you know maybe change out the wig paint on her face or something make her super cool number four have a chill day but bring your doll along for a chill day you could just like relax maybe read listen to an audiobook something you like to do to relax and just bring your doll along with you maybe sit with you or just like even hold your doll so i tried this out and it was actually quite nice Though, in my area, there's kind of construction, so that sound wasn't nice, but it was just nice relaxing. Reading my book and being with my doll. In this picture, uh, I moved to a different spot than I am in this picture because I wanted to put my feet up. Yes, in this picture, I'm not actually reading, but I promise I did actually read my book, okay? Yeah, but I had my feet up, I had Sophie in my lap, and I was reading. It was awesome. Number five, go on the American Girl website. You can look at their new stuff, their best-selling things, see what's their most expensive item or least expensive. Sometimes I like to just look at the stuff to see kind of what new things they have and what I wish I could get. Number six, take your doll with you thrifting. So if you like to go thrift shopping, or you could even do this just like going to a store but if you like to go thrifting this would be a good place because you can take your doll and get like not too expensive things but also it's more sustainable and you can find some pretty unique things there it's for a good price and maybe you can see if anything like, is doll size when you bring your doll you can like see right there it's right. doll size and if it actually looks good with your doll number seven reorganize your doll house doll room or doll area will make it look fresh and just kind of maybe make it more appealing than it is give your dolls or maybe even you more space with new decor even or you could just use your old stuff but change maybe the layout number eight craft or sew or just make anything for your doll depending on what this is it can be time consuming or it can be a quick project but it's really fun to make like custom unique things for your dolls and Plus, you have new things for your dolls. And you can get super cute things that are very customizable. Make a doll video or stop motion and then edit that. Yeah. Stop motions especially can be very time consuming. So that can take up a lot of your time. You can also like write a script for it beforehand too if you want to. And then once you finish them, you know, you video or the stop motion. You can edit them and even upload to AG2. Number 10, take doll photos and edit them. Fun to try and find a place to take photos of your dolls and to make them look good. It's fun to edit the photos because especially seeing the before and after, like that, that's super satisfying. Number 11, try to do a new hairstyle on your dolls. Sometimes I just do like the same old, same old, like the ones I know, a ponytail, maybe a braid, but I want to try doing like new hairstyles on my dolls, like a waterfall braid, something, try something new it might take a little while but you can like search up a video how to do it on youtube you know try and learn and then if you figure out how to do it it's a cute new hairstyle for your dolls wow number 12 dress your dolls maybe a few of them or even all of them you could dress them just for fun like in summer clothes even winter clothes 
so they look different than before or you could do it for an occasion like a holiday christmas even valentine's day or you could do like a party it can take a lot of time depending on how many dolls you have number 13 decorate your doll house or doll area for a holiday or just for fun you know spice it up you can decorate for a holiday make their house look very festive like you decorate for christmas decorate for fourth of july or you could just do it for fun make it look different number 14 try to style your dog clothes differently because sometimes i tend to do the same thing with my dog clothes so maybe try to style like a specific shirt you have for your dogs maybe try and pair it with different things do something more unique see if it looks good number 15 give your dolls personalities and or hobbies because some dolls are just basically very lifeless i feel like you feel more connected or at least i feel more connected with my dolls when they have actually a personality like hobbies and it can be easier for stop motions too if they have actually a personality going back to the making things for your doll you can make things like for their hobbies number 16 look for good deals on doll stuff and dolls on some places like mercari ebay and facebook marketplace you can find good de really good deals on dolls or like doll accessories and i've gotten many of my dolls from ebay and you can get doll clothes there too and then it's second hand so it's more sustainable and plus you can get it for a deal number 17 give your doll a pet so a lot of us have pets at home they're basically our family and giving your dolls one you can also develop a personality for the pet and it's just gonna be cute for your doll to have a little pet with them find a stuffed animal for your doll or like you could even make a pet for your doll number 18 brush your doll's hair so we don't want some nasty raggedy doll hair just kind of brush that to make it look actually nice especially brush it before photos and finally number 19 watch ag tube there's many good ag tube channels out there go support them show them some love and you get to watch some pretty cool content about american girl dolls well i hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it gave you some ideas to do this is your last board anyways thanks for watching see you next time bye